class we are going to learn about chronic fatigue syndrome may 12th is world chronic fatigue syndrome awareness day chronic fatigue syndrome also referred as myalgic encephalomyelitis is a medical condition characterized by long term fatigue and other symptoms that limit a person's ability to carry out ordinary daily activities can coronavirus cause chronic fatigue syndrome Chronic fatigue syndrome has been linked to viral infection, so it's possible that COVID-19 virus may go on trigger this condition. Researchers expect to see an outbreak of post-viral fatigue syndrome in some people who have had COVID-19, according to some recent studies. Facts about chronic fatigue syndrome: Estimate that the number of persons with this condition may vary from seven to three thousand per one lakh adults. Chronic fatigue syndrome occurs more often in women than in men. Two in hundred children are estimated to struggle with this condition, and it is more prevalent in adolescents than younger children. The causes of chronic fatigue syndrome: the exact cause is not known. Genetic, physiological, and psychological factors are thought to work together to precipitate this condition. Viral infections such as Epstein-Barr viral infection, herpes simplex infection, coronavirus can trigger this disease. bacterial infection like pneumonia when immune system problems hormonal imbalances mental health problems such as stress depression and emotional trauma and genetics also play a very important role in the development of chronic fatigue syndrome pathophysiology of chronic fatigue syndrome immunological abnormalities are frequently observed in those with this disease condition decrease natural killer cell activity is found in these patients and correlate with the severity of symptoms these patients have an abnormal response to exercise including increased production of complement products increase in oxidative stress decrease the antioxidant response and an increased interleukin levels increased levels of cytokines have been proposed to account for the decreased atp production and increased lactate during exercise Accumulation of lactate in the major muscle is responsible for frequent muscle weakness. Let's see the signs and symptoms. Significantly lowered ability to participate in activities that were routine before the onset of the condition and persisting more than six months. The main symptom is feeling extremely tired and generally unwell. Physical or mental activity causes worsening of the symptoms. Sleep problems, difficulty with thinking and memory. worsening of problems with standing or sitting muscle pain joint pain and headache in mild cases the victim is not able to carry out everyday activities such as work studies or housework but with certain difficulty patient may need to give up the hobbies or social activities so that they can rest in the spare time in moderate cases the patient may have difficulty moving around easily and problems carrying out daily activities patient may not be able to work or continue with education and may need to rest often and may also have problems in sleeping at night in severe cases the patient may only be able to do very basic daily tasks such as brushing the teeth the patient may be housebound or even bedbound and may need a wheelchair to get around and may also have difficulty in concentrating they will be very sensitive to noise and light and take a long time to recover after the activity the management there is no certain pharmacological treatment or cure for this condition although various drugs have been being investigated there are wide variations in the patient management that may receive a multifaceted approach to the treatment and no medication have been approved exercise therapy that is graded exercise therapy in 2017 the center for disease control and prevention recommended light exercise and stretching but not more than 4 hours before bed to help with sleep stretching and movement therapy are also recommended for pain management a 2016 cochrane review stated that exercise therapy should contribute to the elevation of symptoms especially fatigue pacing pacing is an energy management strategy based on the observation that the symptoms of the illness tend to increase following minimal exertion The principle behind pacing is to avoid overexertion of the symptoms. It is not aimed to treating the illness as a whole. Those whose illness appears stable may gradually increase the activity and exercise level, but according to the principles of pacing, patient must rest if it exceeds the limits. Regarding the nutrition, 
Patient with this condition benefit from a well-balanced diet and eating regularly including slow-release starchy food in meals and snacks. Many people experience relief of the symptoms with this diet including gastrointestinal complaints. To avoid the risk of malnutrition, they should be supervised by a dietitian. And the complications are depression, social isolation, lifestyle obstructions, and increased work absence. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more informative videos.